From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday's top stories. Prime Minister Minutes using last night's COVID-19 related national address to issue this plea to the country. Dear brothers and sisters, we need your help at the critical hour. The government cannot do this alone. I cannot do this alone. To protect our economy, and to get you and your neighbors and family members back to work, I need your help. To get schools reopened safely in September for our children, we need your help. No additional restrictions. The Prime Minister urging persons to go out and get vaccinated. He revealed plans to deal with the increasing number of persons hospitalized with the virus, now at 110 in the ICU. When additional vaccine is expected to arrive next week sometime, he says... He thanked healthcare professionals for their efforts and reiterated what's already been stated. Vaccination is the only way out. The Prime Minister says, although there's no confirmation that the more contagious Delta variant of the virus is here, we have to assume that if it's not, it will be soon. And he is urging persons to get vaccinated to protect themselves and others. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. The numbers continue to go up. The Ministry of Health confirming another 130 cases for Tuesday, spread over an increasing number of violence. Double-digit numbers in the capital, 95, Eleuthera, 13, and Abaco, 10. Cases also reported in Grand Bahama, Exuma, and Bimini. Another death has been confirmed also. A 58-year-old Bimini man is the latest victim. That total is now 286. On dealing with the sick, the Prime Minister announced plans to expand health care facilities and get more health care workers a place to deal with the increasing numbers. But he says it's going to be up to the people to get through this. There are more COVID-related issues for the government to deal with. The Nurses Union upset about a delay in the payment of a promised honorarium from the government, calling it wicked and deceptive. Not known if it's related, but 17 nurses stationed at the Rand Hospital in Freeport called in sick yesterday. PLP leader Davis is worried about this situation. He listened to the Prime Minister yesterday, says we're on the brink of a health catastrophe. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area, mostly sunny, chance of pop-up showers, highs in the upper 80s. 88 at Freeport, 89 in the capital, 88 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now, the next high around 1 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. No systems in the tropics. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. We're approaching the peak of the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to double-check your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines. There is another warning from the World Health Organization about the increasing spread of the Delta variant of the coronavirus. It's gone up worldwide for seven straight weeks, according to the WHO, and officials there are worried. Several countries have taken steps to try and slow the spread and deal with the situation. Thailand forced to set up a hospital at its airport. Cambodia has closed its border. In the U.S., the cases continue to increase in most of its states, led by Florida, where there's now a major discussion about mask mandates. Wildfires, meantime, continue to burn out of control in the western U.S. Thousands are impacted. Tribune's gas track of prices for Thursday, Shell 513, SO 517, Rubus $5.18 per gallon in the capital. 
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports section. Tribune Sports talking to Kai Jones ahead of tonight's NBA draft. He's a projected first-round pick. Find out what he is saying in the Tribune Sports. There's the latest on Team Bahamas at the Olympics in Tokyo. And yes, there is a dispute. Find out what that is about. NFL training camps are open. Get the latest. Aaron Rodgers in camp with Green Bay. The latest on Major League Baseball. Josh should be back in action with the Marlins soon. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.